Hey everybody, Tracy Cornelius here and I thought I'd come to you today because there are two things that happened or two lessons, two trainings if you like, that happened uh, today during a, a coaching session that I had with a client. So firstly, we are going through profit. So sales and marketing, whether we like it or not, is a huge part of our business. It's a incredibly important section and one that we really have to kind of wrap our minds around. But I know that it's an area of struggle for many female entrepreneurs. And this is a great example. So going through my coaching session, we are talking about the sales process and making sure that we are optimally um, making sure that everything has profit at the base. So, for example, especially if you're selling products, you may have low profitable products and then you may have high profitable products if you're in a service it may be a similar type of thing so a lot of the time you'll be on upsell so if you've got a service and you've got a low ticket selling item then it will be your upsell where you're really beginning to make the profit for your company <clears throat> same type of thing for products it's very rarely that you make the optimum amount of profit when you're selling the first item it's always when there's an upsell now as I'm going through this whole process and we're really going through this in depth I can see that my um, client is getting really agitated very frustrated um, and as it's progressing on you know I'm really kind of beginning to lose her in this whole kind of process and it becomes very clear to me that even the word sales is suddenly being interpreted as though I'm asking her to do something which is so far away from who she is uh, <clears throat> that she thinks that it's going to be a real salesy process that you are forcing somebody to spend money, that I'm asking her to do something which is completely the opposite of what she's trying to achieve. So I just switched the language and I said, right, we're going to optimally serve your client or customer in the best way possible so that they have the optimum experience that they have a complete experience so for example you know like if we have a special occasion to go to and we might go and buy a dress and we get really excited about it and it looks great and we come home and you know we might show everybody that we've got this dress and then we realize that we don't even have any shoes to match and then suddenly the excitement about the dress goes just like this um, it goes so quickly and that's now instead of being excited we're now thinking oh we've got to go and go do another thing so what I'm talking about here is making sure that we're giving the customer a complete experience so in this case it would be like selling the whole outfit now as soon as I switched the languaging to saying about serving the clients and customers then I could just literally see the penny drop and it was really resonating and beginning to feel excited about that and and her interpretation is like yes that's exactly what I want to do and that's what I want to achieve so there's two lessons that came from this so first of course we want to be thinking about profit and everything else um, with regards to how much we're making upsells or the rest of it but the second is you really need to be making sure that you're always speaking your client's language. So in my example, <clears throat> the first way talking about the sales in the way that I was, was completely losing her, making her frustrated, making her agitated. There was no connection between the two of us at that point in time at all. The second way, however, she was completely on board, really comfortable, thinking, yes, this is what I want to do. Yes, this is what I want to achieve. And so we really had that kind of rapport. So that was perfect. So speaking your client's language is so vitally important. It's why I cover this. So I cover this in um, the second of the two of the five powerful principles for female entrepreneurs. So if you want more information like this, you really want to kind of make sure that your your business is going to be successful, that you hone out all of these issues, that you understand your business so intimately that success is inevitable, then you want to make sure that you're in our group and I will post the link below. Speak to you later. Take care. Bye.